Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we have created our first test using Cypress command called visit. And we have loaded a website. But so far, we haven't done any assert that will check that current website is loaded. So let's fix it right now by adding our first assertion. In this case, there are two things which should be tested when we load a website. First is correct URL address. And second is to validate any of the expected elements on the page. So let's start with the validating the URL address. So right below the first eight, we should create one more test step and we should name it should check correct URL. And here I want to introduce you to a new function, which is called side.url. And this function will basically get the current URL and allows us to do something with it. In our case, we want to check that the current URL is including uh, some part of this address. So we want to use a function called should and it has two parameters. One is what it should do and the second one is the value. So first is called include because you want to check that this URL should include some part of the given value. And now we need to pass it the value. So let's for example do example.com and save it. And basically what this line does is that it will grab the URL address which has been loaded and it will check that anywhere inside that URL is this value. So let's try to run it. So npm run sci open. And click on the simple spec. And as you can see, our test was successful. We have successfully visited this website and we have asserted that this URL address is containing, containing something of the example.com. So nice, we have our first assertion ready. But that's not enough. We need to check that also some element on the page is also visible. So let's create one more step. And should, let's say, should check for correct element on the page. And for this, I want to introduce you one more function, which is called side.get. And what basically this method does is very similar to the URL, but instead of getting the URL, this one will return anything will be passed inside. In most cases, it will be a selector. So if we inspect this website by right clicking on the browser and clicking inspect, you can see that there is an, a DOM which contains some elements. And here we have this h1 element containing this text. So one simple step should be to check that the h1 is actually visible on the page. Of course, there is many more combination which you can use, but let's keep it very simple for the first tests. And don't worry, we will get into much more advanced concepts and selectors and functions in the later videos. So first step is to get the element h1. And then we want to again call the should function because this h1 element should do something. And in this case, we want to be visible. So we want to check that after we loaded the website, we have a correct URL and also the h1 element is visible. So let's again open our UI. And if we run the spec, we 
we should see that all the three tabs, steps are green. We have successfully loaded the website. We have asserted the URL is correct. And we have also asserted that the H1 element is visible on the page. And let's just, for example, test out that we want to check that there is, for example, H6 element, which of course is not there. So the test should give us a fail on this step. So open Cypress again. And if we run the simple spec, you should see that the first step will be marked as red. You see, now it's checking for the assert. And as you can see, Cypress error, time L retrying, expected to find element H6, but never found it. Of course, because there is no H6 element on the website. And if we just go back here, don't quit the Cypress. And let's fix it back and press H1, save it and open Cypress again. You should see that the tests are automatically reloaded and run again. And in this case, the H1 is back and the test is successful. So I think that's it. Just a quick recap. In this video, we have learned how to actually get the URL address and validate that some part of it contains some text. And also we know how to get any element on the web page and check its state or any other functionality on that element. So I think that's it. And in the next videos, we will start exploring another functions. So see you there.